Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Nira Jess Cooking and Crafts. Today I'll be showing you how to make gulab jamun. So let's get started. So in a pan, right now, we'll be putting one tablespoon of ghee. Now into this ghee, we'll be adding three-fourth cup of milk. Let's give this a mix. We have to do this all on low flame or else it won't come out good. Now after we mix this nicely, we can add in one cup of milk powder. Let's give this a mix. Now mash all the lumps so there's no lumps anymore. It should start becoming thicker. Now just continue mixing on low flame. Now it became creamy. Now it should start holding shape. We're gonna be doing this for a little longer and then we can take it out. Okay, so after mixing it for a while, it should become dry like this. Now I should just let this cool down and it'll become into a powder. So I'll see you after this cools down. As it cools down and you mix it, it should become into a powder like this. Now we should transfer this into a different bowl. I transferred it into a bowl. Now let's just mix this so it's a fine powder. Okay, so now it's a fine powder. And into here we'll be adding one half cup of all-purpose flour. Let's mix that into here. Okay, I mixed it properly. Now into here we'll be adding a pinch of baking soda. And now let's give that a mix. Okay, now into here, we'll be adding three tablespoons of warm milk. And let's give that a mix. When you're mixing this, do not knead the dough, or else the gulab jams, they won't be juicy. Now, after you mix that, just keep on adding milk until it becomes a dough. Okay, so it became a dough, and now we're gonna let this rest for 10 minutes. Now we're gonna be making the sugar syrup. So for the sugar syrup, here I have about one and a half cup of sugar. Let's add that into here. And into that, we'll be adding the same one and a half cup of water. Now let's give this a mix and let the sugar dissolve. Now into here we'll be adding 1 fourth teaspoon of cardamom powder. Okay, so now into here we'll be adding a few drops of lemon juice. Okay, so it's been 10 minutes. Now let's see how the dough is. It became nice and soft. And now we can make this into tiny balls. They shouldn't have any cracks like this. So you're gonna be doing this to all of them, and I'll see you after that. Okay, so I made them all into balls. Now it's time to fry them. Okay, so here I have some oil, and it's heating up on low heat. So into there, I'll be adding these. We're gonna let them stay. Don't touch them for the first few minutes. Okay, so they turn golden brown, and now we can transfer them into the sugar syrup. Okay, so now we're gonna let this stay in the sugar syrup for about two hours. So I'll see you after that. So this is how you make gulab jam, and it's super juicy inside, as you can see. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye!